Hey friends, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today. It is another scratch baking video. On Sundays, I invite you into my kitchen where I will make something from scratch. Sometimes it'll be a little semi-homemade. If you're new to my channel, my name is Heidi. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. This way you can stick around in my little corner of the internet. That would mean the world to me. And today's recipe, I'm going to be baking a coconut pineapple bread. Now, I made this recipe the other day for, um, for my girlfriend. Now, if you were like a tropical, you like, you know, toasted coconuts with pineapples, those are the ingredients that are in this bread. Um, when I was making it, I did notice that it was such a moist looking bread. So I'm really excited to make this again. For my family, my house smelled delicious. So if you want to see how this recipe is made, please stick around. All right, so here are our ingredients for the coconut pineapple bread. And we have one cup of toasted coconut. And I have split it up into half cup portions. One can of pineapple chunks, and I have drained these. And I also had broken them up into different size pieces, so there's uh, different textures in the bread. We have one cup of sour cream, three large eggs, and this is one stick, uh, which is a half a cup of unsalted butter, which is at room temperature. And now our dry ingredients, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of granulated sugar, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. All right, so I have a bowl here, and what I'm going to do first is combine the flour with the baking soda and the salt first, and we'll mix this up well. All right, so I'm gonna be using my stand mixer for this recipe today. We are going to next combine the butter. And the sugar in the mixing bowl. I'm going to add the paddle. And we're going to turn this on high speed and let this combine until it's light and fluffy, about three minutes. For the next step is add the three eggs, one at a time until each one is incorporated nicely. So I'm going to scrape the inside of this bowl as sometimes the butter sticks to the bottom. So we're gonna combine it a little bit and then turn it back on. All right, so at this stage of the game, what we're going to do is alternate the flour mixture and the sour cream while the mixer is on in alternate steps starting with the flour and ending with the flour. So we'll turn this on low. We'll pour in a little bit of flour. Probably turn it up one more notch. And you can also use a hand mixer if you don't have a stand mixer. Now I'll add in some of the sour cream. Again, the flour, and we're gonna end with the flour. So this will stop there. And the other half of the sour cream goes in. And last, flour goes in. Turn 
turn this off. I'm going to scrape the bowl again, and I'm going to show you up close, once this is all mixed, what this batter looks like. It's so light and fluffy. One more time. And we're going to scrape all of this out. Oh my God, I could just lick the batter right here. <laughs> And there's no boys home to lick this off today. All right, so I wanted to show you how light and fluffy this looks. What a gorgeous batter. All right, for this step, we're going to combine the pineapples and the one half cup of toasted coconuts, and we're going to mix this by hand. So we'll add the coconuts, or toasted coconut, and then the pineapple. I'm gonna to try to get this so you can see, and we're gonna mix this by hand. Look at this lovely batter. My gosh, the toasted coconuts. This is so tropical, and it smells wonderful. And just combine it really well by hand. We don't need to over mix it. We're just gently tossing so it's evenly combined. So I have a loaf pan here that I have sprayed and the spray that I had recently picked up was a baking spray which already has flour kind of incorporated into the spray. So just spray your pan. If you're using butter, butter it and definitely flour it. So now we're gonna take the batter and get it in the pan. Look how gorgeous this is. Like I said, I made this for my friend the other day and I didn't get to try it. So I cannot wait to try this one. So we're gonna even this out, scrape off the spatula, and I'm even going to lick. I'm gonna leave some on here so I can try this. And now the other half cup of toasted coconuts is gonna go all over the top. And if you think it's too much, you don't have to use it all, which I probably won't. Well, there you go. All right, so my oven has been heating at 350 degrees. Now this cake, because it is very moist with the pineapples, it takes 65 to 70 minutes to actually cook. And the recommendation is after about 30 minutes, take a piece of tin foil and cover it for the last uh, half of the baking time. So we're going to put this in the oven. We'll check back in 30 minutes and with the bread. The timer for 30 minutes. So we'll be back in about a half an hour. I'll show you what it looks like. We'll place the foil over it and we'll be back shortly. All right, so we are about halfway into the baking time and this is where we're gonna just take a piece of foil. We're gonna lightly place it over the bread while it's finishing cooking. And you wanna do this because you don't want the top part of your bread to kind of get overly brown but yet you still want the inside of the bread to continue to cook as it's a very moist bread. Looks delicious. So we're just going to lightly place that over the top of the bread like so. And as I'm starting this, I realize my dog is lapping up some of his water. So sorry if you hear that in the background, but we have another 30 minutes left on the baking time for this. So then we'll be back and we'll give this a taste test as I can't wait. And like I said, I baked this the other day. I wasn't able to try it. I gave it to a friend of mine, but this one I get to share with my family. So I can't wait to try it. In the meantime, I'm gonna go do a load of laundry and then we'll be back and uh, slice this baby up. So I have taken the bread out of the oven. It looks delicioso. Mm, it smells so good. And this is where my patience level is going to have to come into play because it's been cooking for so long, it's going to need a longer time probably to cool down. So we're gonna let it sit in the pan for a few minutes and then I'm gonna take it out of the pan, let it cool down before I slice it because um, I don't wanna slice it until this one is actually cool. And then I'm gonna let you know what it tastes like. 
All right, so this deliciousness is done. I'm gonna try to show you guys, look how pretty that is. I kind of put the pineapple and the coconut on top and we get to try it. So let's not wait any further. I'm so excited to give this a try. This is actually, well, my second bread making um, this recipe. But like I said, I didn't get to try the first one because it went off to my girlfriend and this one gets to be ours. Now I am cutting it while it's moist. So I am going to take the end piece and it looks really good. It looks like it's cooked through. Let's go ahead and take a bite. And this one has a pineapple chunk in it. Mm. It's good. Very moist. And I think the pineapples, because they have juices in them, help this bread to become and stay moist. I got a piece of the top of the bread. Wow, the textures are so good together. The top of the bread with the toasted coconut, it got even crunchier. So you have the moistness from the inside of the bread and then you have the crunchy top. I think this is so good. It can be, to be honest with you, it can have a little more of a coconut flavor. I think probably I'm gonna to try to make this again. So a little tip for you is if you're gonna make it, if you have like a coconut extract, add maybe a few drops of coconut extract in it if you want it to taste more tropical, but it is, it is good. But if you want more of a tropical or coconut rather, taste to it, then you can certainly add that. So there you have it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you make this recipe, please comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. If you kind of switched it up a little bit or if you did add the coconut extract or you doctored it up your own personal way, let me know because I certainly love to try ideas and I thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Stick around in my corner of the internet or my kitchen on Sundays. It would mean the world to me. And until my next video, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.